Hello, this is Ivy. And this is Serena Lynn Soria. And we are going to share what we understand toward the simultaneity and the relatives of time, length, and velocity. In physics, the relativity of simultaneity is the concept that distant simultaneity, whether two specially separated events occur at the same time, is not absolute, but depends on the observer's reference frame. Upon reading the module and researching, a learned relativity of simultaneity is a concept in special relativity. Simultaneity is the relation between two events assumed to be happening at the same time in a frame of reference. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, it is impossible to see in an absolute sense that two distinct events occur at the same time if those events are separated in space. Simultaneity is not an absolute concept but rather a relative one depending on the motion of the observer. What is the relativity of time? The relativity of time is the phenomenon that says time in two inertial reference frames moving with respect to, the, to each other will appear to be different. So, it is a phenomenon that the time intervals for example, on a speeding rocket will appear to be longer to us on Earth than to the people on the ship. The formula to determine the dilated time is given. What is the relativity of length? On the other hand, the relativistic phenomenon of length contraction occurs when the length of a moving item or object is measured to be shorter than its rest rest frame so it only occurs in the direction of motion and it has a major influence only when the item is moving at near light speeds in the relativity of length it is said that the length of an object measured in the rest frame of the object is its proper length or rest length Measurements of the length from any reference frame that is in relative motion parallel to that length are always less than the proper length. What is the relativity of velocity? And now the relative velocity is a term refers to the speed of an object in relation to another object, so which could be stationary, moving slowly moving at the same time or at the same speed, traveling faster or moving in opposite direction. The speed of the particle as measured is equal to the speed in the positive direction plus the speed parallel to the positive direction divided by 1 plus the speed in the positive direction multiplied by the speed parallel to the positive direction over the squared of the speed of light. 